Call of Duty Mobile finally reached us October 2nd. Now, as a person who's played this three months, I'm giving this one month review for the multiplayer side. Not doing Battle Royale, but what I can say about Battle Royale is pretty fun. And that's, that's a lot of pros. And it feels like Apex Legends for some reason. I've had certain people told me that. And it feels like Blackout to me. A little, a little combined. I see what they're coming from with the Apex stuff. But, uh, yeah. Now, I have played Blackout. So, don't, don't come at me with that stuff. I'm just saying what other people have told me. And not all people play Blackout, so... But this game is amazing. For the one month review, we're tackling classic and ranked. The ranked is I've only put two games into it and it feels like a classic, like not classic, but like, you know, you're actually going up against experienced and, and good players. On on classic, you know, regular quick play, you're playing against bots or people who perform very low. There's a difference, but the skill gap um, does sway a little bit in uh, the regular mode. But on ranked, you're actually getting a challenge. It's it's awesome. It, it, it brings something good to the game, the game community, the COD Mobile community, and videos are gonna be amazing. Now, right now, I have these two gameplays in the background: the Kill House and firing range my bad on that uh they're averaging out on 20 kills but this is like a a little test for me because i'm doing this all on an iphone i'm editing on an iphone and i feel like that's amazing i'm recording on an iphone editing on an iphone and playing this game on a phone which is all mind-blowing and i've been waiting for this game to release as a person who's seen this three months uh, develop dev from uh, the Australia beta to the Canada into the final release um, it's changed a little bit um, some guns uh, um, move a little bit slower the knifing is weird um, by the knifing I mean when you have a gun already selected as the secondary and you're trying to knife somebody it does not work for some reason I have to press the button like five times to kill somebody and I, once it swings it doesn't even kill them i'm getting shot or or something um the the way that people play on here is mostly a spray and play some people do uh, tend to wait for you to uh, come out and snipe you or hard scope and not many people are are to the type of play style that i'm playing is i do hard scope i do quit scope and i do move around a bit but when I get on Kill House, I know I don't have to move. I know everyone's going to show up in the line of sights. I'm just going to take that shot. And if they kill me, they kill me. But it doesn't matter. So, that's uh, that's that's the, what I really want to talk about on this one month review. I feel like this game is going to last. I think it's going to change drastically um, over a year. It just depends how they're going to release content and give it to us. Because... Not many are with the supply drops. Not many are with all the other stuff. But I'm liking it. They have this like some season pass going on, like Fortnite or whatever. And for a free to play game that give, you pay ten dollars just for the season pass, and you do you just play and and, and and kill and and just try out the modes and and you unlock all these tiers and stuff like that. And they even throw in events. I've unlocked a PDW just by logging in the game seven days. And that's with the skin too. And it's pretty, pretty like event gifting. Like, I don't know how to say it, but it, it, they really give you stuff. And they're not just like always like tossing in some like small thing. Because most of the things is cosmetic. The only thing that... <coughs> that i find that you have to grind is the credit points if you're not really purchasing the season pass which i haven't purchased the season pass because it's the same thing as what they did for the beta so that's why i haven't purchased it but i have been playing to get all those tiers and stuff like that to, to unlock it and all i have to do is pay ten dollars and i get all that content which is great 
unless if you're that type of person who wants to spend a hundred dollars and and get all the things and then play then that's you i'm not going to personally but uh you know you game on a budget here <laughs> but a free to play game call of duty a free to play call of duty <laughs> it's amazing it really is even on the phone i know people wanted this on the consoles and stuff like that and i, I wouldn't mind to get this on a console i think the best console to put this is on the nintendo switch i think they really deserve this and I think it's a great idea if Activision, Activision give, gets this uh, mobile port into Switch. It'd be the best thing to, for them to do. <clears throat> and it would suck if it doesn't reach PS4 and Xbox. But I highly <laughs> not expect that on a PS4 or Xbox. I know it's on PC with those emulators out there. But um, that's not the, the true way to play. I think... You should play it on a phone or a Nintendo Switch if it does come out. And that's that's what I think. Not everyone agrees, but uh, that is it. That's all I have to say for the one month review, to be honest. like Out of the three months, this is the best game that's ever come out there. I know Fortnite's out there, but I don't really mess with Fortnite on the phone. And PUBG's having its uh, competitor in its COD. And I know it's the same uh, developers, but it's still like, I hope this game blows up more than PUBG because PUBG on the phone is 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 a big game surprisingly for me I, I I don't really mess with PUBG like that but it is a good game and I rather would play PUBG than uh, Fortnite on the iPhone that's just me that's my that's my thoughts that's my opinions that everyone thinks the same but uh that's that's why we get to say whatever we say on the internet <laughs> I definitely give this a 10 out of 10. And if you haven't picked this game up, you're slacking and you need to. Um, you're probably holding out for a, a better phone. That's probably your case. But uh, I tried this on my low budget phone and the frame rate is not as, as good as what you see here. <coughs> Could have been better, but uh, that's just my low performance phone. And even if you haven't gotten your hands on it, I'll download it real quick get used to it and then when you do get the upgrade then you get it if you enjoyed the video please give me a like comment your feedback and subscribe if you want more videos i really would appreciate it. thank you guys for watching see you